Hi, and welcome to this Lionhead uh, tutorial. So first of all we're gonna see uh, loading the reference images. So we're gonna go to the Creation tab and Blueprint. In here we're gonna choose the 34 images that we're gonna use as reference for our model. So the front view, let's go to Files, Lionhead, the front Lionhead, and the side view, we're gonna choose the side view of the, the head. So let's click on OK. If we had more images, we could just uh, put more of them. This is the, the blueprint that we have. So we're going to scale that, just holding Shift to keep the same dimensions. Going here, OK, more or less from the front view. So I think that the image is not perfectly centered, so I'm going to center it manually so something like that and I'm gonna move it a little bit just a little bit so it's gonna be a, a reference I'm gonna move it down okay something like that's gonna be fine so first of all before starting uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller before starting uh, I'll put this blueprint in another layer so right click another layer and let's type blueprint right click on blueprint and change object to this layer okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to lock the layer so i don't click by mistake on the blueprint so let's start to start this model we're going to use the uh, append face tool and we're going to start creating the main um, topology uh, loops of, uh, of faces okay so let's go to creation and append face First of all, I'm going to start from the right view, more or less, and I'm going to do the, this first part. So I'm going to just make a few faces here. So one here, another one here. I'm going to change this plane mode to shade it. Okay, and I'm going to start creating the main, the main shape. Depending on the uh, quality that we want, well, in this case, it's not touching, but it's no problem. I just misclicked the the point. Okay. Depending on the quality of the resolution that you want for your model, maybe you you want more or or less faces on this uh, on this first step. So in here, I'm gonna go to vertex, select those vertex, and uh, let's go to weld. Okay. So this is gonna be the main uh, the main shape. And from the front view, I want to make sure that, uh, let's change to shade it, that it's more or less aligned. So, it more or less, it is. So, I'm going to just unlock the, um, the blueprint. And I'm going to move it a little bit more to the right. Okay. There we go. So, from the right view right now, let's double click this part in here and from the front I'm gonna move that slightly okay right there and for sure from here I can refine the vertex and everything okay so uh, this is the shape that I have right now just starting the, the lion head in fact this part is totally flattened so to make it perfectly flatter I'm gonna double click again and I'm gonna move it maybe from the front view I'm gonna move it a little bit upper so okay like that's gonna be better so you have to think if the part is flatter and it's not and which is the shape that it's following okay so now I'm gonna start with this part in here and I'm gonna make this to follow all the the head that we have on the lion so I'm gonna hold alt in here and I'm gonna just drag that okay I'm gonna make some of the uh, extrusions. I I don't care about the shape. I just care a little bit more about the uh, direction that it's following all my uh, all my segments. Okay, so something like that. Right now, I'm gonna active hotkeys just to run the little run report command. So W E R and one two three four. 
Okay, so it's going to be faster for us just to refine the, the shaping here. Okay, so something like that will, will be nice. That's okay. What's the problem now? If I go to the front view, everything is perfectly aligned. Okay, so that's not what we want. I want this part to be a little bit to the center, but I'll have to match or to make it match a little bit better from this side view. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to refine the parts in here to follow this part of the head, this shape, to follow a little bit better. So from the right, now I have to fit this part in here. So just move it a little bit. Move this edge like that and this one. So right now we are following the, uh, the head shape with the segments of divisions that we have placed in here. So for sure we will have to uh, play with all the views to make it fit correctly. So maybe this part should be a little bit to the front. Okay, so in here we can see that this part is still flattened and this it goes down and this stays to the center. So something like that's gonna be fine. Maybe later if we need to we want we're gonna add more uh, more segments, so no problem at all. We are now just defining the uh, the basic shape that we we want to give to the lion head. Okay, if I go to the front view, by the way, I'm gonna see that this part it goes flattened and it goes down a little bit. So maybe I'm gonna add a new division. So divide, and I'm gonna put it a division in here. Select the edge, and maybe something like this is gonna it's gonna do the work. Okay, from the right view. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we can still refining until we want, but just to create the basic shape, it's gonna be more than enough. Okay, now let's work with the, with the mouth in here. So we're gonna do exactly the same. Okay, so starting with the pen face. In here, there is a, an insertion in here, so we have to make sure that we put this, uh, this edge in here. So uh, we're gonna do something like that. Okay, this is going to be the inner one. Okay, and from here we're going to start with the outer one. Okay, so something like this. Okay, now in here we can, uh, we could merge uh, both of them, but it's no problem. So something like that, and then we can create another one in here. And another one there. So in here we can choose if we want to uh, merge it with this part or not. Maybe in this case it's going to be fine if we merge it. But from here I'll create new faces. So something, something like that is going to be fine. So right now what we have to do is just to make it follow the correct uh, the correct shape. So first of all let's select on this edge and it's gonna be something like this. This one is the inner one that we have placed so I have to make sure that this one it's aligned with all this part. Okay so from the front view it's gonna be this inner part in here. So from the right view or from the perspective I'm gonna start picking this one and moving it outside, this one moving it outside and from the front view, I can make sure that I'm placing it where it has to be. Okay, so something like this. It's gonna be fine. If we had a top view, <laughs> this will be so, so, so helpful. So I'm gonna move that a little bit. Okay. So the shape it's, it's kind of weird, so let me just play it in wireframe mode, just to change the the size of this part in here, and the inner part 
just make it like that okay and refine all this part in here maybe the work it's a little bit bored but uh, working hard on the on the very first step it's gonna allow us to save a lot of time when the model turns more complicated so in here from the front view we can just make sure that uh, we follow the the shape here the mouth shape and everything so we can move that a little bit like that this part it's, it's quite okay maybe I prefer that to be the same heading here okay I'm gonna move it down a little bit and I have this is fine okay so this is the result that we're having right now so let's check if this point from the front view maybe a little bit inside all these formats must be a little bit more inside and also this point in here okay but something like that's gonna it's gonna make the work so for sure anytime we want to change anything we can so it's no problem if we if we want to change it later maybe I don't like this part like that I prefer a little bit more like this but no problem okay so uh, right now we're gonna have to feed this part with um, this part in here with all this with all this part so let's uh, work with the with the nose in here it's gonna give us a, a good reference so from the front view what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have all the divisions that I need to create the nose and then create the insertion and everything so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, edge in here I'm gonna hold alt and create a new division and I'm gonna hold alt again and create another one and from this side exactly the same holding alt and creating a new division maybe I could create two but let's try at first with one so from the right view just refine the shape also in here refine the shape go to vertex and refine this vertex and this part in here something like that's gonna be it's gonna be fine what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna create an inset in here so and then creating the extrusion for for the nose so something like like that's it's what I'm looking for okay right there so uh, now it's time to uh, start filling all this part in here so maybe I'm gonna move this a little bit okay like this and now I'm gonna try first of all I'm gonna save save it so save as I'm gonna go to lion head so I remember to sorry I got it in, in English so lion head I recommend to save the file uh, every time you remember that you have to, f to save it okay so in case that something happens so we can always go back and recover the file so uh, how do we feel all the sports in here so we have the shape so maybe I'm gonna refine it a little bit more okay like that and what we're gonna do is for instance going to all those edges in here and from the front view I'm gonna hold alt and extrude that and the same with these parts in here so holding alt and extrude okay perfect now we have to make it match a little bit from the right view so let's just move it a little bit something like that and exactly the same in here double click going to the right view and put it like this we're gonna rotate that a little bit and what I have to do is merge this point to this point so we're gonna weld that so go here to weld or the Z if you want to use the hotkeys 
and merge that and also the same in here repeat the command with right click and there we go and also in here to here perfect now it's starting to to take a really good shape for sure after any of these uh, extrusions we'll have to refine the the shape at least uh, a little bit okay so it seems it seems quite good so right now what I'm gonna do it's uh, I want to make sure that this part uh, fits correctly and then we're gonna go for the eye that maybe are the two hearts hardest parts in here so I'm gonna make this part to fit in there so I'm gonna extrude that from the front view make sure that this is the shape that I wanted to take so maybe this part is gonna be a little bit more outside also this one from the right view just extrude it to here and from the front view let's make sure that it takes the shape that we wanted to and I'll have to fit it into uh, this, we can match it or uh, or bridge that but uh, maybe this part is too big and these faces are too small so what we can do is just select both of them and bend the face in here and then refining a little bit the, the size so going to smaller to, to bigger okay something like that and from the front view make sure that this is following a little bit the shape that we're looking for so maybe here we're gonna need more division or putting these parts a little bit to the inside so in here we have to make sure that, that the nose goes like that and it goes and it goes down but I think it's, it's doing the work and in here just selecting these two edges and adding faces so a pen face it's clicking the A on the hotkeys so clicking two edges clicking A if you have hotkeys active or going to a pen face perfect from the front view it's taking a good shape I'm sure that at the end I'll have to select all this loop of edges and make it a little bit more to the inside but and also those ones and move it up a little bit but we're gonna let the details for for the end okay I'm gonna do exactly the same in here so I can double click sorry in here and extrude that and then make it fit on the top and on the bottom so I'm gonna scale that a little bit into the move it and from the perspective I'm gonna weld this point into here and this point there so go into vertices and weld from this point to here oops sorry was from this point to here and maybe in here it's gonna be better if we add one division well let's try it without adding more divisions so from here to here and from the front view let's see how it's going it doesn't seem bad at all and let's see how can we end this uh, this part in in here okay so uh, maybe I'm gonna just select those and a pen facing here and I, if I want to keep everything with quads maybe I'll go like this and I'll go like this right now everything is quad but I'm getting one triangle in here and I don't like it but the nose it's gonna be a uh, strange shape so yeah maybe I'm gonna keep a triangle in here or yeah maybe what I prefer it's I'm gonna get rid of that so select and delete and maybe from the front view what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna make this face in here okay so it's twisting a little bit mm -mm -mm, yeah maybe I prefer it twisted to the other and uh, to the other part so like this and now at face okay this is gonna be much better for uh, for the result that I'm looking for 
and then selecting these two edges and click A for a pen face. Okay, and now from the front view I can more or less keep this part in here and I can keep this shape there. Okay, let's display it in wireframe so I can keep all this part there so I can refine the shape a little bit and this part in here. For sure, usually in these cases there are many options. Okay, and maybe the first time you model that you're going to choose one, the second one you're going to choose another one, so no problem. There's no bad selection, so what you choose just have to make it work the, wo the way we are modeling this this lion head. So if it works, it's it's good enough. So this vertex we're gonna make it a little bit down. Okay. Like this is gonna be fine. So right now what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna select maybe these parts in here. Okay. And I'm gonna insert that. Okay, so maybe I'm, I won't need this facing here. So let me just deselect this one. And in here I'm gonna insert that. So let's come here and insert. Okay, perfect. Now I don't need these parts in here because the object it's not symmetrical yet. But I will make it symmetrical in the future. So like this it's gonna be it's gonna be what I'm looking for. So perfect. Okay, so the nose part it's uh, more or less finished. So let's go for the for the eye. Okay, we're gonna go for the mouth later. That maybe it's not uh, as difficult as it seems. So let's go for the eye. Let's go to the front view. And what I recommend you always it's for the eye creating new append faces. And maybe in this case, maybe six or seven divisions gonna be more than enough. Let's let's see how many do we need. So let's go for one in here. Two, three, four. Yeah, I think we, we're gonna add more later. Maybe six. It's not enough. It won't fit perfectly with the divisions of the lion, but let's see. I always recommend to start with uh, as less subdivisions or segments as uh, as we can, and then anytime we can add more, can okay, make the rest of the model fit a little bit better. So this is the eye and from the right view look where is it? So I'm gonna put it more or less here and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Okay just to make that from the right view it fits a little bit better. I don't like it to, to rotate from from one of the views I prefer it from the perspective so something like that. And from the right view we're gonna see that it's taking a, a more realistic shape right now. And another, another trick, it's rotating like this, the the part of the eye. Okay, so the bottom part it's more inside and the the top part it's a little bit more outside. Okay, so it's not bad. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna match it with all the other parts. So maybe from here to here and we're gonna add one one face in here. So sometimes add in this case are two different objects. So it doesn't let me add without pre-selection. So I can go without any selection and go in point by point. Okay, that's the the other way. Or we can bridge that. Okay, it's gonna do exactly the same. So right now, yes, I can use the append face, and I'm gonna use the append face also here. And maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end all this part in here. So double click, extrude, go to the front view, make sure that it is taking the shape that I want to, and I can select these two. Maybe not. This is the one that I want to follow. So I want this one to weld into this one. Okay. Now let's refine a little bit the top part in here. So we need less uh, less resolution here on the top part, so maybe we can even uh, remove some faces. We're gonna do it later. 
and uh, what we're missing is all this part in here, all the cheek part, but it's it's not a difficult one, so we just have to follow all the divisions that we had in here. So what I recommend is to finish this part, okay, from the eye to the end of the head, if I can with one or with two divisions, and from the front view, just make sure that this is doing the work. It's I think it's this one. No, it's not. It's the other one. This one. There we go. Okay. Like that. So now we have more or less all the uh, all the base divisions segments along the entire object. The entire piece in this case. Maybe in here I'm gonna add one division. Or no, maybe I won't add more. I will just refine the shape. Okay, and I'll have to make sure that with the divisions that I've placed along my my object, I can just finish all the the head part. Okay. So for instance, I'm gonna select all these ones in here, maybe not these ones, and from the right view, make sure that I can do something like this and it can fit perfectly with this part in here. So selecting, moving it outside a little bit. This part has to go even more outside. Select these parts, add face with the A, the pen face tool. And we're gonna have to do the same for this other division. So holding Alt like this and from the front view making sure that it goes to the outside and welding from this point to this point. We are welding to the second point because this is the one that we extract from the eye, so this is the correct one. So the one that we are sure that has the correct position. And now we're going to refine this, um, this shaping here. To finish the top part it's going to be so much easier and the bottom one is going to be also easy. So this is the result that we are having right now. We'll have to refine a little bit more the vertex and everything here, but it's not taking a bad shape. So from the front view, I think that I can even get rid of that. So just delete. And let's end this, this top part. It's going to be easy. So extrude ones in here like that, extrude twice, three times, and make it weld, so Z from this to this, repeat the command, right click from this to this, and repeat again from here to here. Okay, and now we're gonna refine a little bit this shaping here, so from the bottom you can see that this is not uh, taking an organic shape, so just refine that a little bit, It should be nice if we had a, a top, a top picture, but so something like that. As more pictures we have, we can make sure that the result that we are getting is even better. But with two, it's more than enough. Even with one, depending on the model, we can get amazing results. Okay, so something like this. Okay, and let's end this this part in here. So maybe what I'm gonna do it well this point with this one, and I'm gonna make it like this. So I, as I told you before, we don't need as much resolution as on the other part of the model in here. So it's totally fine if we go like this. Okay, perfect. So uh, we're gonna refine later all the all the bumps on the face and everything. So to finish this part in here, we can create this face in here from here to here. So add one face, and we're gonna see later what we do with this part in here. Maybe we can read off all this part, or we're gonna see. So what happens with the bottom part that we just forget, or totally forget? So let's 
finish the the mouthing here. So first of all, maybe I'm gonna need one more division here on the bottom part. But anyway, I'm gonna try it with with these ones. So the first that I have to do it's uh, select all these uh, parts in here and I'm gonna go for the inner part okay so from the front view what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold uh, I'm gonna do it with a scale gumball holding alt and extruding that a little bit okay something like this and now I'm gonna make it fit where they have to be so in here I want this to be here and aligned to the center. As you can see, I'm still working just with uh, one half of the of the face. So just at the end, or when I have my model a little bit more advanced, I'm gonna make the symmetry. Right now, it's easier for everyone to keep modeling with just one part. Okay, and I'm gonna go for the same on the bottom part. So holding uh, Alt and just dragging a little bit, and now refining the the extrusion. Now welding again. So Z to do this part in here. Okay, so now I can see better when do I have to refine my mouth shape so which are the vertex that I have to move outside or inside that maybe before I didn't know because there was no extrusion yet so right now it's easier to to see where do I have to move everything so maybe I'm gonna need more definition in here but first of all before adding more faces I'm gonna try to move it like that so maybe it's gonna give us the resolution that I need Okay, and how do we finish this uh, this bottom part in here? So I'm gonna do exactly the same that I've done in here on the top part when we started. So I'm gonna do the same in here for all the bottom part. So I'm gonna start with uh, from the front view. I'm gonna start from this edge in here. So this bottom part and just holding Alt and extruding it. And then Alt again and extruding it. And then Alt again and extruding it. Maybe I, I don't like this so much of, uh, of this hole in here. For me it's too big. So I'm gonna go for something like that. Maybe a little bit more, but I don't like it when it's too much. Uh, this change of uh, of height in here, sorry, I've weld. Okay, and now in here we can refine this uh, this part, so move it a little bit outside, like this. Okay, so now from the front view everything goes goes fine, maybe you have to move that a little bit, but from the right view as we can see, we have to, we have to do so much work. So refine the shape a little bit in here. We'll have to make those vertex a little bit more together. Okay. And now just uh, make sure that this fit with this part in here. So it goes this uh, rounded shape. Okay. So uh, from here what I have to do is uh, I'm going to create just one face from here to here. I'm gonna create one face from here to here. And maybe what I have to do is move it a little bit more outside. So from the front view, might just a little bit better. But I do, this is just a reference. So if I want this part to match perfectly, I'm gonna have to make this, uh, this part a little bit bigger. But I prefer this part smaller. So I, I think the result is it's better. I maybe if this is the bottom part, I'm gonna want to add this into this. So I'm gonna match the the edges. So let's go to match from this edge to this edge and right click again. Okay, when I've matched, I had to validate all the steps that I've done. 
perfect and from the bottom it's fine maybe in here I have to move it a little bit outside so something like this it's so good okay so now we have to finish this this part in here so how to match this part with this part so from the front view yeah I'll have to make everything matching here so uh, select all these edges and I'm gonna extrude twice okay and from the front view I'm gonna move one of the extrusions go to right view select the other extrusions and from the front just move it a little bit okay now I'm gonna refine this bottom part no problem so first of all I'm gonna select these two and weld it in here and also zoom in a little bit and well from here to here okay so we just finished the the basic shape so now we have to refine it okay so in here this part must go a little bit upper so let's refine all this part in here so how do we refine that here we don't have geometry the head goes like that and it ends in here so we just have to move all this by edges or vertex I prefer with vertex well, for me it's a little bit easier just move it a lot okay move it a lot don't have any fear of moving a lot the the vertex okay in this case we have the basic shape perfectly done and it's it's good enough so when we have this uh, this good topology don't worry if we, we move the points a lot Okay, the, the shape it won't change a lot so just make sure that this is taking the shape that we're looking for so I don't like to follow pictures just perfectly there's a hundred percent exact so I just wanted to, to take a reference so at this point maybe uh, I don't even need the reference uh, images okay so this is the result that I'm having right now so let's it in rendered mode so it has quite a good shape maybe I'll have to refine in here the cheek okay by the shape it's quite good okay so um, mm -mm -mm, from the front view let me just check this uh, direction in here of this loop of edges from the front view it's not bad not bad at all Okay, and in here we have two options with this loop of edges so we can just finish it down there and have one more loop or we can get rid of it okay we can choose whatever we want I think I prefer to finish it so we don't have so much resolution so I prefer to finish that and merge it from here to here with the weld tool and here maybe we can refine a little bit we have abandoned the, the mouth totally in the here so we can just refine that a little bit but as I told you this part it's it's quite easy in comparison with with all the other parts so right now we have to finish this um, this mouth so uh, what I like to do it's going like this okay going to R maybe no going to W I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna move just the gumball the move gumball okay, and now I'm gonna click R to change the gumball to uh, scale and I'm gonna hold alt and extrude that a little bit okay now maybe this is not the best way but no, I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna show you a better way to do that that maybe it's a little bit easier so let's select all the edges but these two at the beginning so W to change to the gumball to move and hold alt and extrude now I'm gonna scale that to make it align to the center something like this and now I'll just go weld from here to here and go weld from here to here there we go okay maybe this part it's it is even easier okay, now in here we have a weird edge so how can we solve this weird edge so 
the best way it's creating a triangle in here and adding one face there okay so in here we don't care so much about creating this triangle so it's small it's on the inside part uh, it won't affect too much on the on the entire topology of of the model okay i try to avoid triangles anytime i can but in here it it won't make uh, so much of a big deal so it's gonna be more than more than a good solution in this case okay if we don't want to to create this triangle so what i'd recommend is uh, get rid of this part and divide the entire the entire mouth like that okay and just finish the uh, the entire loop okay this will be the other uh, the other way to solve that in this case it's so much harder to to do it like this so I prefer to create a triangle or keep an, an angle in here it also won't be a, a big deal okay to to have an angle in here so we can also give it like this so when we subdivide a model we won't have any any angle so no problem don't be worried about it we want to try to get rid of angles just because it's easier to to keep the UVs and everything and it's gonna be easier when we are modeling but in this case it's gonna save us a lot of time so maybe it's worth it so let me save that so much time since the last time I, I saved the, the model so now what I'm gonna do it's uh, I'm gonna give more resolution to the eye for instance okay so how do I give more resolution to the eye so for instance giving divisions so I'm gonna go here to divisions and put in a division like that. Okay. I want the eye to be inside and then go outside. Okay, so now I'm gonna give more resolution to the eye. But I don't want maybe that resolution, so maybe a little bit less in here. And the good part I've added resolution on the eye, so I can give the uh, outer segments that I have around I can give them uh, a different shape so if I move that outside I'll give my eye uh, a different different view okay so I'm giving more extrusion on the top and on the bottom and everything so it's gonna ha it's gonna be so much more realistic the same with the cheeks so right now I need more extrusions in here on this part so it's totally flattened. So I'm going to select this point on the cheeks in here and I'm going to move it a little bit outside. So you can see it better from here. So I can give uh, a, a real extrusion in here. So I can see how the, um, the shape is changing. Okay, So I'm going to just move some of those points to create this... Um, this rounded shaping here okay it's also happening the same in here I don't need this uh, this resolution on this part in here so I can just give less resolution to all this part so to give it less resolution I'm gonna just move it to the inside okay like this and the model changes uh, so much when we just add all these uh, all these shapes in here. Also, in in the nose part, if we just grab some of the of the vertex or the edges, maybe here with the edges, and from the right view, I just make it outside, maybe two outside, one inside, two more outside. We can see that we can change the shaping here, even if we move it a little bit. So we can get awesome resolution just changing a little bit some of the of the shapes in here okay and also if we want more definition what we have to do in here is just join it a little bit and we're gonna get more resolution in here okay and also moving this up a little bit and we're gonna get more resolution so this is so easy to do and if we create uh, a good topology okay if we don't it's gonna be so hard okay we create a good topology changing the shape at the end it's gonna be so 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 easy 
if we don't, it won't be that easy. That's for sure. So I think that on this step, the most important part is to have a good topology. Okay, and then uh, we can refine anything we want. So maybe now uh, what we can do is we can just create uh, the nose. So to create the nose, let's go to the right view and let's see what do we need. Maybe I'm going to select these three faces in here and I'm going to move it inside a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and extrude it to the outside. Okay, so this is the result that I'm having right now. It's not bad. So I'm going to just select these two and just and get rid of them. Okay, perfect. So, uh, now that I more or less have the shape that I want, I can keep refining until we get all the details that we're looking for. Um, this can help us with a lot of different models, okay, not only a lion head, but a human face or uh, any other animal. Because the, the way to create that, it's, it's so much similar, okay, so we can use the same workflow that we've used in here to create any kind of piece that needs a certain definition like human heads, all kind of complex animals. So this is going to be the same workflow. So uh, now I'm going to make sure that all these central loop of edges, so double click, it's, uh, it's perfectly aligned, so clicking R, I have to get rid of those, I don't need those. Okay, and just move this in the in the red axis, or double click and type zero in here as you prefer. Okay, and now uh, I'm ready to create the symmetry. Before creating the symmetry, I prefer, for instance, to close my eye. Uh, in this case, I can close it with two quads, but as uh, as I don't need any kind of uh, of the finition inside the eye, so I just want to close it. Uh, I can feel that. So, okay, so I can feel the eye, and the result it won't be bad at all. So it's gonna be easier for me if I want to pull it up or down. Okay, later. For sure, I can get two quads in here, so it's no problem at all. But um, I'll create just an angle. Okay, uh, what else are we missing here? So maybe the insertion of the uh, of the mouth. So I'm gonna select all the mouth in here, and I'm gonna extrude that to the inside. Before extruding that to the inside, I'll have to make sure that in here there is more space, like the throat and everything in here. So maybe the first that I'm gonna do is select these two these two faces and holding Alt and extruding that a little bit. And now I'm gonna get rid of this part in here. So now the the mouth goes like this and we can refine the inner division so the mouth can grow on the on the inside part. Okay, something like that. Okay, perfect. So now we are more or less ready. But in here I'm I'll still uh, extruding that. Uh, I don't need those ones. In here and in here and this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude that to the outside. So I'm gonna come here and extrude. So instead of by group, I'm gonna go local normals and I'm gonna go to the opposite direction. Okay, like this. Maybe not too much, just a little bit, but just to have the the inside, okay, the inside division. Okay, let's right click, and now I'll have to make sure that I get rid of just the inner ones. So select all the inner parts and delete. Okay, perfect. Now I can refine a little bit more the shape if I have to or refine maybe these two edges in here like that so we have more rounded edge in here but it's it's quite good refine a little bit this so it goes like gradually 
Okay, so uh, now maybe it's time to create the symmetry of my of my lion. So maybe I'll have to make sure one more time that everything is aligned. So there we go. Now I want to make sure that also this part have to be aligned. I don't know why I didn't align it the first time. There we go. Okay, and now yes, we are ready to the um, for the symmetry. So I go addition, go symmetry. In this case, I can use an edge loop. So this edge loop, right click, everything is fine. We don't have to end threshold or anything. So just uh, right click, and there we go with the symmetry. So what are we missing right now? So we're missing the the ears. Okay. So how do we create ears? So we'll have first to create more uh, more division thing here. So right now select all of them, holding Alt, and we can just go like this to create one more division. Okay. I can do it once, twice, uh, all the times that I that I need to. Okay. So maybe I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, and this is gonna be the base. Okay, maybe I'm gonna rotate that a little bit. Also this one. So this is gonna be the base for the for the ears. Okay, maybe I'm gonna choose some of the faces from here to create the ears. Okay. Uh, maybe in here the head goes so much more stretched than the one that I'm creating. Yeah. Maybe what I can do is I can select all of them and just extrude that a little bit to the outside. And also with this loop of edges. And maybe. Yeah, maybe a real lion. It's has this part a little bit more straight. Okay, so maybe now from the front view, maybe now it's too much stretched, but uh, no problem. So any time we can just refine all the shapes in here now that we have symmetry active. So the changes on one side will be applied on the other one. So it's gonna be much easier to, to change anything, okay? So now we're going to use some of the divisions that we have in here to create the the ears. Okay, which is going to be the which ones are going to be the edges? So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's two ones. Let's see from the front view. I don't know to be these two ones or these two ones. Through this, I don't know. Let's see. No, I think that I prefer this, this ones. Okay, so to create the ears, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an inset. So clicking I, let's let me just run the tool so you can see which tool I'm using. So the inset, and let's refine the inset in here a little bit. Okay. Now, before starting extruding anything, I'd like to uh, refine the shape. The base where I'm creating the the ear a little bit, okay. So it's gonna be easier for me at the end to create the the shape that I'm looking for. So maybe select this edges in here, rotate that a little bit, and now more or less I have it ready to uh, extrude and start with the the shape of the ear. So from the right view, well in this case maybe it's better from the front view. So to, to have an idea, more or less, I'll rotate that a little bit. So holding Alt and extruding once, rotating a little bit, scaling a little bit in 3D and in 2D, refining the position and extruding one more time, scaling in 3D and in 2D a little bit. Okay, so this is gonna be the shape. So what we can do right now it's just refining this start and the end. Okay, so maybe something like this it's gonna it's gonna match a little bit better with the ear. As as I told you it's just a reference. 
so no problem we don't match it perfectly okay don't be worried about it yep, something like that refining the ear in here and uh, it's gonna be so important that from the right view it goes like like a real ear so sometimes what happens is that we are so much focused on on the front view and the result from the side view it's so ugly so we don't we don't want that so something I did it's it's quite good let me rotate it here a little bit like that okay and now let me insert all this part in here so let's inset yeah a big inset I'm gonna refine it maybe what I can do in here it's if I want it more symmetrical uh, maybe go in just to shake all these faces and extrude them maybe in here as you can see the shape it's a little bit different so this part it's not as extruded as this one so maybe what I'm gonna do is just extrude this one to the inside and in here I'm gonna go for a transition or something like that so something like this maybe I'm gonna just move it a little bit okay so the result it's not getting bad at all okay maybe on the top part it's this is a little bit more uh, thinner so like this maybe also this part in here okay not bad at all with the ears work so now I'm gonna make this a little bit more aligned okay I see that now it's too much stretch it seems more like a, a bear <laughs> than a lion what we can do right now is maybe we don't need this definition in here so we can just delete that and we can go to the right view Okay, and select all these parts in here. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll have to select everything. So, um, let me let me change a little bit the shape in here. From the right view, it's fine. Okay, I don't like this bottom part to go that bumpy. So I think it's gonna be better like this. Okay, so uh, let's say that uh, we have the the face more or less finished. So what I can do right now is I can get rid of detail on this uh, on the last loop. Okay, on this looping here. First of all, let me refine some some parts in here so yeah so many uh, divisions in here okay so I'm gonna get rid of some uh, details in here so how do I do that is delete this one delete this one in here I'm gonna also delete this one delete this one and delete this one so I'm creating all angles but I'm making it so much easier to change so I can also do it with with this one if I want to so getting rid of this one this one this one here and here so what I'm getting with this it's uh, I just need resolution here on the face and I don't need it there so if I want to make any change, so for instance right now the head it's so much rounded and I don't want it. So I just have to select a few edges to to change all the all the the thickness, okay? So let me I want to select the entire loop, but it's gonna be kind of hard 
select everything I want to. Oops, sorry. There we go. Maybe I've select everything I wanted to. Okay. Okay, perfect. And now scale a little bit. So now it's going to be much easier to refine the shape that uh, that I'm looking for. So for instance, this part in here of the ear, it's so much outside. I don't like this part in here, so let's go something like that. Okay, perfect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to close this, uh, this part in here, okay? So when I finish refining, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire head. I'm going to come here, Edition, Symmetry, and End Symmetry. Okay, now the object is not symmetrical anymore. Now I'm going to try to close that. And then if I want to, I can just keep refining okay, until I get the desired shape. So select the entire object. And when I re what I recommend, well, the entire or just the, the naked loop of edges in here, and go to Edition and Fill. Okay, this is creating an angon, so we don't want an angon, but we're going to refine it right now. So divide from here to here. This is not planar, so maybe we can make sure that this is perfectly planar. Okay, so uh, how do we do that? So it's even easier. So I don't want to select everything. What I want to know is how many edges do I have on one side. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven on the other one, so it's 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to primitives, I'm going to create a cylinder. I'm going to move the cylinder here, so uh, with grid snap, I'm going to move it here, and I'm going to set segments 14. Okay. Perfect. So uh, as I'm setting 14 uh, segments, just need one in set. I'm going to make sure that this is uh, matching with a perfectly flattened part in here. So let's click OK. Now I'm going to have to rotate that a little bit so the this edge is perfectly uh, here. So uh, I'll try with... Uh, six degrees maybe it's very if I calculate that but <laughs> two degrees maybe four degrees more maybe two more okay maybe minus one let me change the language to Spanish minus one okay there we go so right now what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna just hold in shift and moving it here. Now I'm gonna stretch that a little bit, but not so much. Maybe that's too much. Okay, and I'm gonna scale it. I'm scaling in 2D. And from the right view, I'm gonna make the object match with this part in here. Okay, I can make it perfectly flatter or not, as as I prefer. Maybe I prefer not to. So going something like this. I'm gonna scale it a little bit more, a little bit less, okay, something like that's going to be fine, and uh, from here, okay, it looks uh, quite good, maybe a little bit smaller, okay, a little bit smaller, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all the edges in here, okay, and I'm going to say, okay, all of you are going to go, I'm going to match it to all of them and right click. Okay, now are not uh, aligned, so I'm going to click here to align and I'm going to say that this one is going to be this one. Okay, so now it's perfectly aligned. Oh, it's not. Sorry, this one it's going to be this one. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect. And right click. And here if you want the average, it's okay. Right click one more time. And now we have this. Now it's perfectly flattened 
on the um, on the end okay so now if I double click in here I can just move this part and make it match a little bit better but we are sure that this is perfectly flattened okay so we can just move it a little bit we can refine everything we want to now remember that we don't have symmetry active okay but the good part is that we can uh, we can now make this part uh, perfectly flat and, and work with anything we need in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, addition and fill the thing that we've done before. And now just select by vertices and divide. Okay, from here to here. Now as it's flattened, I can just divide that and the result is going to be so, so, so good. Anyway, where I, what I recommend is to finish and have all quads in here. So I'm going to do something like that. Maybe something like this. And something like that. Okay. Now, from the top view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of one half. Like that. Delete. And I'm going to select the other one. Addition. Symmetry. Now. I can go by plane from here to here and right click. Okay. Now it's symmetrical. One more time. And if I want more definition in here, what I can do is I can select all these faces in here and go inset. Okay, and set this in inset distance. Because right now this is gonna be more flattened. Okay. As the object is uh, symmetrical again, I can just give the final look, give the final details, okay, to the to the model, okay, without the fear that it's closed, it's open. No, right now it's closed with a flattened uh, with a flattened cap, so I won't have any problem. And now I can keep refining anything I want to, okay, of my model until I get the final and desired shape okay so um, that's the basic uh, basic model of the of the head for sure in here we can add a tongue add some teeth or anything but uh, to create a basic uh, head model this is how this is how we can do it okay if we smooth that that's the result so it's a basic tutorial of how to create um, hard geometries or hard, hard surfaces and how to manage them okay uh, we don't create uh, the hair so we can create it with another clay object or with a sculpting or with any with another piece I'd recommend to be another entire piece so uh, we are also missing the eyes but it's just creating a sphere and going symmetrical so just that's the basic tutorial I don't want to I don't want this video to be uh, longer so I hope you like it and uh, thanks so much for for watching see you on the next one